His Excellency President Julius Marabio. Nancy, please tell us your story. I have two children. I have my adopted children with me. I have my parents with me. We are over 20. So it's very difficult as a single parent to fulfill all those financial demands. I am an agriculturist. I also do crochet, knitting. I have to work very, very hard for my kids. You got a hat. You got a hat. Because if I am not sacrificing, my kids will not have enough food. I will not be able to go to a better school. As of now, I am not financially stable because I don't have access to loan. I want to do a business. It will improve on my well-being, my dignity. We are not able to open an account for Nancy because the documents that we are asking for, the ID card, she was not able to bring it. And that's not just only for Nancy. We have several people coming with the same story, so it's difficult. One of the major issues with financial inclusion today is that there is this lack of verifiable identity. And more than that, there's no credit history that's tied to that individual. We started working with the Sierra Leone government for the past eight months now. Many people within Sierra Leone may not have actual documentation for proving their identity. We're here announcing this huge milestone with the launch of this new platform, people now have a credit history that they can take from one bank to the next. And you will see that the live KYC check requires only a national identity number and a fingerprint. I am informed and I announce with pride that this is Africa's first blockchain and decentralized national digital identity system. I am the first African woman to do the digital identity. I'll start doing big because with my fingerprint and we have the access to loan. So I'm happy because my fingerprints are always with me. I will not leave them behind.